SSA $2,000 relief payments and your deposit for all Social Security, SSI, SSDI included. For decades, Americans who rely on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits have struggled to make ends meet as the costs of basic needs like housing, food, and health care have steadily risen. Programs meant to provide a foundation of support have lost value over time as inflation has steadily chipped away at purchasing power. A bipartisan consensus formed that it was time for reform to better serve those in need. Research showed the gap between modest fixed incomes and expenses had grown too large. Seniors were skipping necessary medical care due to high drug costs. Disabled workers found themselves unable to afford housing or even nutrition assistance despite qualifying for benefits. Veterans who sacrificed for their country battled illness and hardship. It was clear the status quo was falling short in meeting the mission of these critical programs, the new approach. In 2024, lawmakers came together behind a comprehensive package of improvements. Rather than one-time stimulus, the focus was on systematic changes establishing long-term economic security. Monthly benefit increases from $200 to $500 would be provided automatically based on need. For some of the most vulnerable households, total additional annual support could reach $2,000. The simplified structure aimed to make a meaningful difference for people struggling every month to cover essentials. Funding would come through reallocating existing budgets and new revenue streams, ensuring sustainability without cuts elsewhere. Regular review processes would keep pace with inflation to maintain the value over time. Importantly, expanded benefits would not impact eligibility for other crucial assistance programs. This prevented any reduction in food, housing, or health care aid that could undermine the goal of improved well-being. Medicare access would also grow through reduced medication costs and more preventive services. Phased implementation. A phased implementation approach was adopted to allow for orderly transition. The Social Security Administration and Department of Veterans Affairs immediately reviewed their records to identify current recipients. Notifications were then sent regarding timelines and next steps specific to individual situations. For those already receiving paper checks or debit cards, transition to direct deposit was encouraged where possible for convenience and security. Contact information updates ensured all could be properly informed of changes. Existing online accounts provided an easy way to track progress as the rollout continued through 2025. Broader Impact this marked a new era recognizing the dignity and humanity in programs meant to support seniors, the disabled, and veterans in their daily lives. The reform package set an important precedent that could inspire even greater strides to reduce hardship moving forward. Though challenges remained, it gave hope that with bipartisan cooperation, more Americans may achieve the stability and peace of mind that should be a basic right. It sent a message that their well-being truly mattered. Rather than being seen as a drain, those who contribute to society throughout their lives deserve respect and compassion in their later years through no fault of their own. This package was an acknowledgement of that principle. In the years ahead, its success could galvanize efforts to strengthen similar assistance worldwide and help redefine how societies prioritize their most vulnerable members. A new standard had been established. This sweeping overhaul established monthly increases that aimed to tangibly improve millions of lives with sustained impact. By simplifying the delivery of benefits and focusing on long-term solutions, it filled critical gaps and adjusted programs for the realities of modern costs of living. While not perfect, it showed what bipartisan cooperation and empathy could achieve. Most of all, it gave hope that the dignity of all people matters at every stage of life. By 2025, the benefit increases were being fully rolled out across the nation. The Social Security Administration completed reviews of nearly 70 million records to identify recipients and determine payment levels. Notification letters detailed monthly amounts and start dates based on individual situations. Those with online accounts found updates posted to their profiles as well. For the Department of Veterans Affairs, over 5 million veterans and their families received notification of changes. A multilingual publicity campaign ensured all understood upcoming adjustments. Transition teams were available by phone and chat to answer questions. While a massive undertaking, initial feedback showed the process running smoothly overall. As the first increased payments arrived, stories emerged of the tangible impact. One senior citizen used the extra $300 per month to finally replace an old furnace saving on heating costs. 
a disabled Navy veteran now felt secure enough to adopt a companion animal for support. The mother of an adult disabled son said it lifted the constant worry of medical bills. Nonprofits reported a marked drop in requests for food and housing assistance. Economic activity and feedback government analysts assessed economic activity and found the benefit increases were achieving their goal of directly stimulating local communities. Nearly 90% of funds went directly to paying monthly expenses with the remainder spent on various goods and services. This supported businesses from grocers to service providers, generating an estimated 150,000 new jobs nationally over two years. Surveys of recipients showed overwhelming satisfaction with the simplified delivery system and assurance of ongoing adjustments. 90% reported reduced stress levels just knowing basic needs were more secure. Healthcare providers noted increased preventative care access was improving health outcomes. State programs saw declines in applications as federal support levels rose. Areas for improvement? While hailed as transformative, some advocates noted room for future progress. Asset and income thresholds could be re-examined, so single persons did not lose benefits due to small savings. Student beneficiaries also felt the timing of cutoff ages did not reflect today's extended education. There were calls to index increases higher during periods of steep inflation. Rural access to online services posed challenges requiring expanded digital options. Some veterans groups argued disability qualifications had not caught up with modern injuries. Disability advocates pushed to redefine criteria that often failed to account for chronic conditions. A few watchdog organizations noted the potential for waste or abuse without sufficient auditing. Political and social impact. The bipartisan achievement shifted perceptions of what federal assistance programs could accomplish with improved design. It became a model for state-level reforms lifting vulnerable populations out of poverty. Public support grew as personal stories highlighted real human impacts. Polls saw record approval ratings for programs now viewed as sensible investments rather than burdens. In subsequent election cycles, candidates from both sides embraced further expansion rather than austerity. Younger voters especially felt government should help citizens in times of need. Think tanks on all sides released reports arguing for similar approaches in housing, job training, and health care. International bodies praised the precedent set for prioritizing dignity in social welfare. On the five-year anniversary, the administration launched a strengthening security initiative proposing additional reforms. New legislation expanded Medicare dental vision coverage and made hearing aids affordable. Asset limits were raised, while student benefits were restructured with modern realities in mind. Disability evaluations transitioned to an emphasis on abilities over limitations. Nearly a decade after the initial upgrades, over 30 million Americans directly benefited each month. 